right? So uh, welcome to the eight pieces of brocade seated practice. So tonight we're going to use movement and breath and most of all intention to uh, bring chi into the six channels of the arms and hands and as well circulate chi around the internal organs and into the legs uh, towards the end. So um, the purpose of this practice is to build up chi in the limbs and then to send that chi to the internal organs. Um, another purpose of the practice is to use motions of the limbs to move the fascia and muscles around the organs and stimulate them in that way. So in general, the breathing for this is gonna be in and out through the nose. Hands are gonna be gently resting in the lap like this, um, unless we're moving our arms and hands uh, in a certain direction. And generally we will be exhaling as we do an extension and inhaling as we do a contraction. So bringing, opening ourselves up to greater energy and then bringing that energy inside and consolidating it uh, into our body. So in uh, Qigong, we think of, there are two definitions of the word mind. We have the monkey mind, which is the chit chat mind that we all um, hear all the time. <laughs> and then we have the wisdom mind. And the wisdom mind is when we, we open our mind and we let it connect to our heart and to our root down here in the lower Dantian, which is said to be the body's um, elixir field for physical vitality. And so in this practice, we're gonna use our wisdom mind, which we call Yi, to circulate the Qi. Okay, so to tap into that wisdom mind, let's just get comfortable, make sure that you, your tailbone is slightly sticking out and uh, your head is right over your body, so a nice straight spine, and start to turn your attention inward by taking a deep inhaling breath into the nose. And then letting a little pause and then exhaling through the nose. So the first piece of the eight pieces of brocade is called close eyes and sit with deep mind. So just continuing this long, slow inhaling Maybe noticing the air is cool as you breathe in. And then slowly exhale. Noticing that the air is warm as it comes out. And inhaling, feeling your lower abdomen expand. And exhaling, feeling your energy sink. Drop, relax, and just continuing this long, slow, deep breathing. And allowing yourself to relax more and more, dropping your energy with each exhaling breath. Inhaling, I am calm. Exhaling, I smile.
So if you could mute yourself, anybody's not muted, that would be great. Okay, so the second piece uh, has two parts. And the first one is called Knock Back Teeth Together Slowly, 36 times. And the purpose of this exercise is to strengthen the roots of your teeth and to send signals to the stem cells along the sutures of your skull to make bone, to produce uh, bone in the body. So we knock them together like this loudly. So let's do that together 36 times. And as you're doing it, focus your attention on your skull, on the inside of your skull and the vibrations that knocking these teeth together uh, make. Okay, so let's do that. Thirty-five, thirty-six. Okay, that was part one, and part two uh, involves uh, inhaling the arms up together. And this, uh, the purpose of this is to open up the back muscles, to straighten the spine, strengthen the neck, and uh, stimulate the kidneys. So make yourself into a little ball, kind of like a little seedling or or a small plant and slowly start to bring your hands up and wiggling a little bit, allowing your spine to open up and pressing your hands towards the ceiling. Like you're just a big stretch and you've just awakened and now placing your hands on the back of your head so push into the hands and slightly open the chest and now relax and don't push it all just bend forward and press your elbows a little forward so now push the hands into the back creating a little resistance so this actually strengthens the neck and you're inhaling of course as you're opening up and then relaxing just relaxing and letting your head fall forward so just continue in doing this, inhaling and opening, pressing into the hands. And you can even move a little bit back and forward and then relaxing, just letting everything relax. So when we sit at a computer or in at uh, cooking or writing, the weight of our head is magnified. And when we're standing up straight, the weight of our head is much less. So this strengthens the neck and allows the spine to unwind, making space in the vertebra, and bringing good spine health. This is normally done nine times. This also uh, increases chi circulation to the torso and preventative for back aches. So last time, open up. And relax your hands down. Okay, so this next one, we normally we would leave the hands there and go right into it, but <laughs> the next one's a little hard to do, so I'm gonna try and teach you. It's It's like, this is snapping your fingers, where you snap your thumb and your middle finger together. Okay, we're going to do a similar snapping, but we're going to use the index finger and snap the, so if I had a table in front of me, and we're going to make a snapping noise by scraping our index finger on our middle finger. So this is called beating the heavenly drum. <laughs> So these are really weird practices, and that's why I thought you would all appreciate them. So the way we get there is we put, so the heavenly drum is this area on the back, just at the top of the spine, this little indentation. 
that's known as the jade pillow. And it is basically right at the pr pr primitive brainstem of the body. So you put your hands over your ears and place your middle fingers over that jade pillow area. Now just practice, just practice tapping your, rubbing your index finger across that middle finger and making a tapping sound. I hope everybody can get a tapping sound there, okay? So we're gonna do this 24 times and you knock, you make this knocking sound with even, steady beats and focus your attention on the inside of your skull once again. Okay, so let's do that 24 times. One, two, three, four. So this stimulates the entire brain cavity and clears the mind. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Now release your hands and just keep your attention on your brain cavity. Notice the clarity. Okay, so hands back together in your lap. And the fourth piece of brocade is called lightly swing the sky post. So the sky post is your head and your neck. So this area of the body is crucial for good health. According to traditional Chinese medicine, there are four arteries that go through your neck. There is the vagus nerve, your spinal cord, um, your breathing <laughs> tubes, everything. So so that's why they pay so much attention to the neck area. So this is also a breathing exercise and an intention exercise. So when we turn to the side, we're gonna turn our head only to the side and we're gonna to look to the back with our eyes. We're gonna stretch our eyes to the back of the room. And the reason we do that is it helps the chi to continue to circulate. It also, we look back on things that we want to leave behind. So there's a lot of layers to this practice. And so let's just do a couple of rounds together, but it's so important that they recommend you do it 24 times. So uh, that's, that's a long time. We're not gonna do that many times, okay? So let's just start. Take a deep inhaling breath into the belly. And now slowly turn to your left. Turning your head and exhaling. Hold your breath to the left and focus your eyes to the back. Maybe lift your chin just a little as you get over there. And now exhale and come back to the center. So inhale. And turn to the right. Just moving your body a little bit, turning gently, not going to stretch too much, stretching the eyes to the back, holding the breath, and releasing, turning back to the center. So this tensing and releasing is what causes the chi to move. And inhale, and exhale, turn, lift a little. Hold your breath and inhale back to the center and exhale, turn. Lift a little, look back, hold. Inhale back to the center. Letting go of the past as we look to the back, exhale. Hold. Inhale back to the center. And exhale. Look. 
in, back to the center, inhale. So that was part one, and part two is another really weird one that was hard for me to do in the beginning, but I have found that I really like it. It is uh, one of the fluids in the body that Qigong uses a lot at the higher levels of practice is saliva, because saliva is known to be um, cooling to the body, cooling inflammation. It is known to have digestive benefits and also be a very powerful carrier for qi. Uh, and it is anti-inflammatory. So we, what we do is to encourage the saliva to be produced in our mouths. We rotate the tongue nine times in one direction and then we'll rotate nine times in the other direction. I couldn't even do that nine times the first time I tried this. The tongue is a muscle that I guess I wasn't using in this way. And then you wait for a moment and feel your mouth flooding with saliva. You collect that saliva in your mouth and then you rinse. They call it heavenly drum rinse like this, which is very good for your teeth also and for your facial muscles. So lots of good side benefits for this. So let's start with uh, rotating the tongue. That was nine and now back the other way. And now just let the saliva accumulate. And all the saliva that accumulates, we're gonna just swallow a little bit of it and feel that go all the way down into your lower dantian, bathing your organs. Let's do that, just part of it. bringing this fire all the way into the lower dantian. And let's swallow a little bit more. Using your wisdom mind to direct that chi, that saliva down. If you have any special projects in the body or areas of the organs, send it down there. And now the last bit, swallow it. And feeling this sense of warmth in the lower dantian. Okay, and I think I realized we didn't do the rinsing, so we're going to do that again. So let's go one, three times each way. And then the other way. And let it accumulate. And then the, drink, the rinse parts like this. And swallow. And then letting that all go down to the lower dantian. Okay. And so the next part also is working on the lower dantian, but through the kidneys. And this is also working on. Uh, extending the lung capacity uh, through holding the breath. So we we'll start by 
rubbing the hands together, generating, activating a lot of hands chi. Take a deep inhaling breath and exhale. Now we're going to take a deep inhaling breath and hold the breath. Bring the hands to the back and make little circles towards the spine as you slowly let the breath come out. Very slowly letting that exhale happen. Holding your hands on the kidney and now inhale into the kidneys, feeling your low back expand. And exhale. We'll do it again. This is called rear essence door massage. So the rear essence is your kidney essence, vitality, sexual health, joie de vivre. <laughs> okay, so inhale and hold. And now hands to the back, slowly circle the hands towards the spine, very slowly letting that air out as slowly as you can. And when you're all out of the air, just hold your breath. Now breathe into the hands. And exhale, bring the hands back. Let's do that one more time. Inhaling. Filling up your entire diaphragm area, holding. And now very slowly exhaling. So concentrating your mind on the lower abdomen. And now breathing into the hands. And bringing the hands back together near the lower abdomen and focus your concentration on the lower dantian. Once again, feeling this burning, this warmth. Keeping your mind and your intention in the lower dantian area. Okay, so now we move to the two seated, more uh, legs outstretched posture. So if you want, you can move to the edge of your chair. Um, otherwise, stretch your legs out in front of you. And hopefully, a little further back, you can see my feet. So be very gentle with this. Um, it's a very powerful movement. It's called... Uh, Hands turn the double windlass. I didn't know what a windlass was, but it's apparently a very heavy crank, kind of like a crank on a, a sailboat. So your sensation here is that you are turning something that has some resistance to it. So your hands are holding a make-believe handle, um, like uh, similar to rowing and uh, your feet are straight out in front of you and look, pay attention to your feet because to get the benefit of this, your feet need to be parallel and you need to be sure that they're not turned this way or this way. Uh, a lot of us tend to have one foot or the other that's kind of maybe turned more in or more out. So careful to look that your legs are straight, your kneecaps are pointing up and your toes are pointing straight up and don't overreach on this. This is just a very gentle, uh, kind of like a rowing motion. So get your handles ready. <laughs> okay, so we just lean a little forward and the hands are down near the legs. You stretch gently and stretch the shoulders open and then arms stay straight and you lean back and then you pull the imaginary handle towards you and then you 
rock forward, down, your hands are down, and then straight. And then when you're leaning back, then you bend the elbows down. And you're exhaling as you push the hands forward. Inhaling as you pull the hands and bend the elbows. And if you're on your chair, just make sure you're really leaning back when you get to that back part. And exhaling. So even though we're not standing up, this uh, movement brings a lot of stimulation to the kidneys and back and also helps the chi the chi move down into the legs. Also very stimulating for the lungs. So we do this nine times. Be sure to lean back. And this time when we get to the back, we're going to reverse it. So we're going to go forward, exhaling, and inhaling, leaning back and bending the arms up. So you're making a circle with your shoulders, but you're also using your straight arms to stretch the backs of the legs and the whole entire back area. One more. Okay. All right. And the seventh piece, the last uh, legs out piece is called lift, press, and hold the feet. Uh, so this uh, regulates the organs and strengthens the spine, massages the kidneys by tensing and relaxing the back muscles. So once again, let's have our fingers interlaced and we're gonna start in that slightly hunched over position again. And we're going to lift the hands up slowly as if you're pressing something up, holding something, exhale as you're Palms press upward. And now bring your hands still interlaced to the top of your head and press down on your head and sit up a little bit more, really straightening that spine. And now inhale and bring your hands towards your feet and look towards your toes. So if you can't reach your toes, just bring your hands down on your legs. If you can reach your toes, grab your toes and pull back a little looking at the toes, and then exhale, just drop your head, let the head relax. Release the toes and, release, and repeat this. So inhaling, uncurling, moving, stretching, imagining pushing up. And now exhaling, bringing your hands down on your head and lifting up into your hands, pressing up. And now inhaling, reaching for the feet, keeping your eyes looking forward. Pull the feet back if you're touching your feet. If not, just stay in that stretch position and then exhale, drop the head, relax the arms. Releasing the toes. And one last time, uncurling, inhaling, pushing up, 
in and out. Exhaling into the hands, straightening your spine. In and now, reaching for the toes, keeping your gaze forward. And exhaling, dropping the head, relaxing. And releasing your toes and moving back to the seated position, cross leg position. So it's a big leg back opener. Hopefully, I think that's the first thing that made my back start to hurt. <laughs> okay, so the last piece is just to finish the practice. So once again, your hands are interlaced and your thumbs next to each other. And this is called entire sky transportation. So we go back to that regulated breathing. Calming the breath, sinking the mind. So once again, noticing if saliva is starting to slowly form in your mouth. Direct your attention to form that saliva. If it doesn't work and you need to circulate your tongue, that's fine. But we want to repeat that series of three swallows. And this time there might be less saliva, but you want to make the swallow noisy like this, <clears throat> making a little noise. When you feel a little bit of saliva has collected, just swallowing. And visualize that saliva flowing down, nourishing your internal organs, warming up the lower dantian. Once again, feeling that feeling of burning or heat. Just noticing your breath, keeping your mind in the lower dantian and repeating the saliva and swallowing if you have that. And visualize your lower Dantian filling up with this powerful energy, becoming so full that it spills over, and flows into all your tissues, all your meridians, the small heavenly circuit channel up and down the back center of the body. Dissolving any stagnation, any blockages. Removing any stuck emotions. Enlivening and activating your entire body. And now send this powerful chi out to your skin surface. And visualize the surface of your skin glowing with this golden halo, forming a protective barrier around your physical body. Seeing yourself encased in the golden light.
And as you sit quietly, just allow this state to exist. Coming back into this room. Moving your fingers. Moving your body. And we can stop the recording now, Gail. Thank you.